So for the Calculus 2 class, uh, this is the relevant, the pertinent information about 9.6. Okay, it's about the ratio test, we have these problems, and the root test, we have these problems. After that, there's a review of 9.2 to 9.6, and that's where we find these 53 to 70 problems, okay, this group. And uh, for the notebook, for your grade, pick five of them and have them ready <coughs> for the week of May the 4th. And I already described the challenge here in another video, which is really uh, kind of the takeaway from doing this. Something I wanted to mention about that, it was brought to my attention that uh, I said in that video that if you, if you do these kinds of challenges, you know, things that are really difficult, really arduous, that nobody will know. Nobody will really know that you do it. And it was brought to my attention that people may not know the specifics of what you've done, but if you test yourself with this kind of stuff on a regular basis, it'll definitely show, okay? Um, you'll have a confidence and um, you'll, you'll lack this aversion to tackling problems. I guess it's the same thing as confidence, but uh, the experience will definitely show, okay? What I meant was that, you know, nobody may know the specifics of, of what you did or when you did it, but uh, the fact that you challenge yourself on a regular basis with, with difficult things, it'll definitely show. Um, as an intro to this, I want to talk about taking uh, the limit of the ratio uh, of functions, okay? And uh, this is kind of a, I don't think this is really, uh, well, I'm not sure if this is something that can be proven mathematically or not, but it's sort of a rule of thumb. I've always kind of understood it as a rule of thumb. The speed of a function, okay? Factorial functions increase faster than exponential functions, which increase faster than algebraic functions, which increase faster than log functions. Then at the bottom of the list, we've got constants or bounded functions like sine x. If the function is bounded between like sine 1 and negative 1, you can treat it like a constant, okay? And these kinds of, of things mean that, like, if you take the limit as, you know, n approaches infinity, and these are always dealing with uh, limits to infinity, okay? If you have something like, uh, you know, 50 to the n over n factorial, this is zero. Because factorial functions increase, increase faster than exponential functions. This function is exponential, this is factorial, bottom increases faster, it goes to zero, okay? It's a pretty quick way to do it. Um, you know, you've got the limit as n approaches infinity of log of anything, okay, over something like, uh, let's say, sine x, okay? So this is a constant, basically, it's bounded, yeah? So it's on the bottom. So log x, this is increasing faster than this, so this thing increases without bound, okay? So using this faster and slower thing, uh, what it basically does is it gives you a very, very, very quick way to take these limits. So I wanted to introduce that, introduce the homework. Let me get this one uploaded, and then we'll go through the uh, ratio test and root test.